Draw the triangle in the Cartesian plane that is made by the point. Okay, and then they give us the coordinates of a point P, 4, point negative 4, by first plotting the point and then clicking on all the vertices of the triangle. So the vertices of a triangle um, talks about the corners or the angles of that triangle. So first let's plot the point. We have the point 4, negative 4. So x is 4, y is negative 4. Okay, that's the one point. Then we trace all of the vertices, so that corner, and we want to drop a vertical line straight down. So that is the triangle that we would have made by the point 4, comma, negative 4. Remember, we always make a triangle with the x-axis, okay, and then connect the point with the origin. So that's the triangle that we are working with. Let's see what else do they ask us. They ask us to calculate um, to fill in the following, the opposite side length, okay, so that's my angle, opposite my angle is this side length, so we see it's one, two, three, four units, but it's down, so it's a negative four, so my opposite is negative four, okay, my adjacent, here's my adjacent, okay, because that's my angle and that's the side length adjacent to that angle. Remember the long one or the one that is opposite the 90 degrees, that's my hypotenuse. So the adjacent side length as well 4 in the positive direction. So that one is just 4. How about the hypotenuse? Remember the hypotenuse we said is r squared. Let's try again. r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and they, then we know that r is the square root it's actually plus minus okay but the hypotenuse will always be positive no matter in what direction it is 4 squared plus and y is negative 4 squared where do I get that from well that's my coordinates of my point okay remember x and y it's the coordinates of my point so what do I get? I get the square root of 16 plus 16, which is equal to the square root of 32. Now, very important here, they tell me that I have to leave my answer in simple cert form. Where applicable, leave your answer in simple cert form. Use square root, S-Q-R-T, um, for the square root of that number. So. If I want to go and write this in simple third form, I will first have to write, take out all of the complete squares. So for example, 16 is a complete square and it can divide into 32. So I can write this as 16 times 2, where 16 is a perfect square but 2 is not. And that, that's the whole idea. So then I can take the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. This is what we mean by this uh, simple cert form and in the end my answer is the square root of 16 is 4 square root 2 and that is the length of the hypotenuse 4 times the square root of 2 that's how they tell me I should write it SQRT for square root let's preview to see there we go that's perfect you see 4 square root 2 and that's it